Hunter Ship of the Week. This week's ship is the French Line Express Steamer Rochambeau. Built at Saint Nazaire and launched in March of 1911, the new liner was named for the legendary French commander in the American War for Independence, to whom a monument stands today in Lafayette Square, just north of the White House in Washington, D.C. It seems Compagnie Générale Transatlantique, or the French Line, was keen at the time to name their ships after people and places that would appeal to Americans and those eager to emigrate to the United States. Stretching 560 feet long and displacing over 17,000 tons, Rochambeau entered service between Le Havre and New York in the summer of 1911. Her quadruple screws, powered by a combination of reciprocating and turbine engines, a novelty for her owners, gave her considerable fuel efficiency compared to her French line predecessors, and she performed well in her early career. While Rochambeau continued to operate transatlantic service for much of the First World War, and indeed aided in the panicked flight of U.S. citizens from Europe in the early days, she did so in the face of considerable danger. Rochambeau was even the target of an attempted terrorist bombing, although the conspirators were foiled when one of their number, Peter Langlin, decided that it was a terrible, terrible idea and turned himself and the explosive device into the police, resulting in the capture of his three co-conspirators. Rochambeau was eventually forced to shift her home port from Le Havre to Bordeaux, to leave the former open for the increase in naval traffic. She was, in an effort to combat German U-boats, equipped with two deck guns, but continued cautiously on her way. Following the war, like so many large liners, she carried the swarms of American servicemen home before finally returning to commercial service. Much of her post-war co career was uneventful, save for a minor collision with the anchor line steamship Tuscania in February of 1925, with both liners receiving non-lethal damage. In 1924, U.S. President Calvin Coolidge signed the Immigration Act into law, eliminating much of the immigrant trade, to which the lower decks of Rochambeau and liners like her were largely dedicated. The restructuring of the class system across the liner industry eliminated steerage and introduced the more comfortable tourist class, allowing Rochambeau to remain in service until she was finally retired in mid-1933, sailing to Dunkirk to the breakers. <laughs> 